I'm back to learning Photoshop in a year, day 73. Let me show you how you can create a multi-color gradient. Activate the gradient tool right here. G is the short key. If you see the paint bucket tool, right click on this toolbox and you can select the gradient. In the drop down, use gradient and basic, the first option right here. You want to set it to linear. Now you can left click drag on your canvas. And if you hold shift, it's going to snap like so. By default, you should see two colors now and these gradient adjustment options. But these are only visible when the gradient tool is active and when you are on this gradient fill layer. And once that is true, you can hover over these adjustment options. And when you see this move icon, you can reposition the line. But if you move slightly below, you can see a plus sign below your cursor. And if you left click now, you're going to add a new stop on the right hand side as well. And now we have four stops, so four different colors. Problem though is that three of them are set to the same color, which is black. Or we can double click on these color stops and then change that, let's say to red and blue. I'll change the white one, maybe to yellow. You can also adjust that under the properties menu. For that to work, you need to have this layer active and you need to see the properties. If you don't, just go to windows right here and click on properties, then scroll down. And here's a display of all the color stops. So we can cycle through them with a the left click. And you can also hover over this. When you see the plus sign, left click, and this adds a new color stop. Double click on it, and you can change the color. You can left click drag, directly on the color stops, or right here via the scale. And the one in between is for the transition position. So the transition between the two colors can be just like this. If you want to delete a stop, just left click on it, for example here on the canvas, and press the delete key. Same goes for the one right here, left click on the greenish one, delete it. When you delete one of the stops that are there by default, you're going to delete the entire gradient. Let us start fresh, once again with black to white, the basic, left click drag on the canvas, hold shift, and now we want to create maybe like a rainbow. So we start with red here, hover over the line, when we see the plus sign left click, we add a new stop. Let's go with purple, then blue, then turquoise, then green, then yellow, Finally, something orange. You can now reposition that manually. Or you can go to the properties, scroll down, and there you'll find what is called the location for each stop. So this goes in percentage from zero to 100. You can adjust that via the slider or simply type it in. For us, let me count, we've got a seven. So I need to divide 100 by 6, that's around 16. So the first one is at 0, second one should be at around 16. Let me put that to 33. Then to 50. Then to 66 and then to around 83. And this is for example how you could create such a rainbow gradient in Photoshop. Just try it out yourself, you've seen it's not that hard. I hope this video was helpful, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.